Now, with winter approaching, there's uh, one thing that's been coming up in a couple conversations and uh, I'm personally curious about, and that is, will gasoline actually freeze? So I got my tank of liquid nitrogen here. I have a little beaker that I'm going to fill with gas and our reservoir right here, our pan, naturally. Alrighty, being very careful not to spill any of the product. It definitely flows a little bit different than water. It seems a lot lighter than water. It's the way it kind of, it's the way it kind of moves. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Carefully put it Oh, that's kind of weird, huh? I'm just gonna leave it there. It's kind of weird. It's like swirling around. Looks like it's cooling it down pretty quickly. Let's see what happens here. I don't see the gasoline freezing yet. It is kind of starting to get cloudy in the bottom. You see that? And another video I'm going to do soon. I'm going to get some jet fuel and cool it down and uh, show everybody how it turns into like a gel. And uh, that's the reason that the fuel pumps can't pump it. But gasoline, I'm not sure about. But I guess we'll see in a couple minutes. Let me pull it out and see how that looks. I mean, it's definitely still, still liquid. Uh oh, a little bit spilled into the liquid nitrogen. Well, I'll check that out. That looks like it almost freeze. That's kind of weird, as it's touching the side. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I don't know. It looks like it froze. That little piece that fell in the liquid nitrogen froze. Oh, it's sunk to the bottom now. You know, what would be kind of cool to see is uh, frozen gasoline burning. Make an iceberg of gasoline and just light it on fire. That might look cool. Alright, well, still waiting. Still liquid. Gonna put a little bit more liquid nitrogen in there. Now I'm definitely thinking that, I mean this is way colder than 20 or 30 degrees below zero. And I've always wondered about those additives that they sell that you put in your tank. And I remember when I was growing up as a kid, my mom used to always tell me that the gas would freeze so she would keep the tank full. And I'm thinking that that must have been a serious myth because I really don't... This is way colder than 20 or 30 degrees below zero and uh, still hasn't froze. So, I don't think the gas in 2017 is any different than the gas in the 90s. I'm thinking that was some type of marketing tactic. All right, well, I'm gonna leave it for a few minutes and come back and see what it looks like. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I've refilled this nitrogen once, and I mean, I waited a whole 10 minutes, and it looks like 
don't know, it kind of looks like the bottom is frozen. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to try to pour it into this other beaker here carefully. It's definitely thicker, kind of like a syrup. Oh, yeah, so it looks like the bottom half is frozen. Yeah, the bottom half is frozen, but the top half wasn't frozen. But I can tell you that this gasoline here is definitely colder than 100 degrees below zero. So I'm not really sure. I guess I'll look it up. But I'm not really sure what temperature gas freezes at. But you can see this is this almost looks like honey. Look. Try to pour it in. Oh, yeah. It's thick. Thick like syrup. That's pretty interesting. Well, there you go. Looks like gasoline can freeze after all. It's definitely not freezing at the 30 degrees below zero that most of these companies are claiming. But nonetheless, it is freezing at a much lower temperature. And definitely a lower temperature than I thought it was going to freeze at. I thought it was going to freeze like 50 below zero or something. Again, I haven't done any research into this, but uh, here's where I'm going to leave this video. And this is our behind the scenes channel. So if you haven't seen any of our full episodes, check them out on Warped Perception. On this channel, I do like a lot of little experiments and stuff like this that I can't make full episodes out of. So definitely check out the full episodes if you haven't seen them yet. And uh, tell me what you think about this subject, gasoline freezing. Has your gasoline ever froze on you in the wintertime? And also, if you know any more about this subject, educate us. Leave it in the comments below. Tell us what you think. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And I'm really curious to see what would happen if I freeze this solid and light this on fire. I might do that in a future episode. And I'm definitely going to do diesel uh, pretty soon. Maybe in the next couple days. So yeah, thanks again for watching. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye. It's gasoline ice. Oh, look at this. This is some martini.